everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you a very tasty gravy recipe. This is how to cook half scap mushroom turkey gravy. Now my turkey is in the oven and it's nearly done. I've done a beautiful holiday turkey. It is half scap glazed turkey. It looks awesome. It's going to be delicious. But we're waiting for that so we can get the turkey drippings to make the rest of my gravy. Now you can use any turkey drippings. You could even use butter if you needed to and you didn't have a lot of turkey drippings, okay? So I have maybe 10 mushrooms sliced up and cut. I have about a cup of flour and I'm adding that to a large jar so that I can combine it with, um, I'm, today I'm going to do it with uh, turkey stock. But if you have chicken stock, you can use that. If you just want to use water, that's perfectly fine as well. Turkey drippings are rather flavorful, so you can get away with using water for sure. So that's what we're getting ready while we're waiting. Instead of using maybe a red wine or a white wine tonight in your gravy, I'm going to be using a beautiful Haskap juice. Now make sure you check them out online at haskappa.com. This is that juice of the Haskap berry. Now the Haskap berry looks like a blueberry. It has a frosty bluish outside, crimson inside, and it's very tangy and sweet and delicious. Now this is the juice from it, and make sure you go and check them out online at hascapa.com. All their products are awesome. Check out my review on this stuff, beautiful. So instead of using wine, we're using hascapa juice in, in placement of it. So instead of using water, again, I'm using this lovely turkey stock that I have, and I'm going to just eyeball it here. I wanna use at least double the amount of stock as I did uh, flour. Now this is cold stock. You don't want to mix flour with the warm stock uh, because it won't, it'll cause all kinds of lumps in your gravy. That's not what you want. You want cool liquid, okay? It's probably about two cups of liquid. So I'm going to put the lid on and I'm gonna shake this to make sure that all the lumps are gone. And that's what we're gonna add to our gravy, uh, the turkey drippings to make the gravy. Now the flour is gonna thicken up that gravy nicely and it has to cook out. So I'll show you how to do that in a little while. Beautiful, so that's ready and prepared. I have some gravy browning, just in case my turkey drippings aren't really dark in color. Uh, it's really just aesthetically pleasing. Uh, my mom uses it all the time, so I guess I'm used to using it too. So you're gonna be brave and you're just gonna go for it. Go. One, two, three. <sighs> what a lovely looking turkey. Beautiful. Goodness heavens. So you have a good amount of turkey drippings here to make some lovely gravy. So our turkey's done, it's resting, and I've taken it out of that roasting pan. We're ready to throw these mushrooms in to tenderize up some. So we're gonna put these mushrooms in and we're gonna let them just saute in this oil for a little while before we add any kind of liquid, okay? So that's the plan. Now I have my gravy on the stove top. I have a bridge burner, so that's why I have it over here. And you're probably going to need an oven mitt. If you feel like you don't have enough turkey drippings to do anything with, add a little bit of butter and just let that melt in with the mushrooms and the little bit of drippings that you do have. So we have our um, flour mixture ready. We've got our hascapa juice ready and some gravy browning and any seasonings that you may have to taste and re-season things, a little salt, a little pepper, depending upon your taste or how much um, came off of your bird, etc. Okay? Mom just showed up. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi. Okay, so it's time to add the hascapa juice. We're going to add this in place of the red wine, like I said. If you don't have hascapa juice, you can use red wine. All right, I'm gonna use maybe half a cup Maybe a third cup. And we're going to stir that through. That'll really help deglaze the pan. Make sure you scrape the sides and the bottom to get any brown bits off. We're going to let that just kind of reduce a little bit before we add our um, thickener. I'm going to add a little bit of gravy browning now. A couple drops for mom. Well, I added maybe six drops of gravy browning to that. It's really just aesthetic reasons. That's it. You don't have to do it at all. Mom is stealing the drippings. <laughs> I'm pouring in my, um, make sure you shake it really well. This is a slurry. This is going in now. And you want to make sure that you bring that up to a nice um, bubble. It's got to simmer for a little while and cook that flour out. Once it hits the boil, it hits its full thickening power. However, when it cools, it gets a little thicker anyway. 
So if you need to add just a little bit more water or some kind of liquid to thin it out, if it's a little bit too thick for you, make sure you do that. So at this point, you wanna do a quick taste test and make sure that it's seasoned appropriately. It sure looks good. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm, that's good. Yummy. Okay, my seasonings are on point. I don't need any more salt, any more pepper. But if you do, go ahead and add some. It's a little bit spicy. I have a little bit of cayenne in there. Beautiful. All right, this gravy is done. It's thickened up. It's bubbled up. It is delicious. We both had a nice taste test, and now I've got to get it into another container so we can serve it. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put some in a gravy bowl. We're serving all those beautiful mushrooms. It's a reddish brownish color. It's lovely. It's nice and thick. We've got lots for extra leftovers tomorrow. So here's the gorgeous turkey we're serving it with, a Huskap glazed turkey. And this gravy looks awesome. I'll show you how thick it is. Lovely. Look at that. With the mushrooms. Oh, it's beautiful. So that's how we're going to serve it. we got to get this turkey broken down. So we're gonna try this gravy. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this fantastic roasted Haskap glazed holiday turkey. You've gotta try this recipe, okay? Get those drippings from that turkey. <laughs> and I'm also gonna try a little bit of this stuffing because I like my gravy on my stuffing too. So a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We'll give it a little try. Gorgeous stuffing recipe. I hope you try this one too. This is a Haskap rice stuffing for poultry. So good. So let's drizzle some of this beautiful gravy on it. On my turkey, all over my stuffing. Oh, let's try it. Mm. So good with that stuffing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Let's try it with that turkey. I got a little mushroom going. Mmm. 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 That is good. Mmm. Boy, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. It's nice and thick. It coats that gravy well. It has a nice little tang from the Haskapa juice. The mushrooms are nice and tender and meaty in there. Oh, that's tasty. Mmm. Really tasty gravy. Mmm. I hope you try this recipe. What a delicious meal. I can't wait to serve everybody these things. Fantastic stuff going on here. So we did use this Hascapa juice. Make sure you check them out online at Hascapa.com for this product and more. I use the berries and the jam in all three of these recipes. In one of the recipes each. But beautiful stuff. Really exceptional flavor. Bright, tangy, sweet. Something that you haven't tasted before. And you're just wowed by it. I'm telling you. I hope that you try this gravy recipe. It's a little out of the box, but it's really, really good. Okay? Mmm, licking my lips. It's so tasty. Ready? Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, alright? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Mmm.